Okay, so in this video I want to show you how to import the FBX files available from our website into Unreal Engine. Um, you can import the main core FBX file, but the process on that is quite complex and tricky with uh, retargeting in Unreal. So I've actually included um, with our products some FBX files that are actually retargeted to the Unreal skeleton. Um, they actually have a different model attached because we're not allowed to include the um, the actual Mani model with our products on our website. Um, but the skeleton inside is more or less the same um, and it will import correctly relatively in a relatively straightforward manner. Um, it does they do have root motion baked to them as well. Uh, though depending on the animation you may decide that the root motion is not particularly useful in that um, in every case but I've just done it by default because it's an option um, that you can choose so to import an animation I have a folder here that has lots of our dances in um, I'll just select this one just so you can see what the model itself looks like I'll just um, open up in the Windows uh, 3D viewer here. So this is the character that we've created. It's quite different uh, but as I said the skeleton inside is pretty much the same. Um, if I just drag this in here though we don't need to import the model. So we just have the skeletal mesh but we will uncheck import mesh because we really don't, don't need that. And I'll select the UE4 mannequin skeleton. Uh, when this imports, it will actually just import and start using the um, the Unreal uh, skeleton, the Unreal model as well as the skeleton. So um, we'll leave convert scene. Um, I'm going to have to select this show advanced and this one here. This is the correct one. Um, Right, what we want to do, we have to check use default sample rate. This is pretty important because if we don't do this, um, it will import and it will create a really big uh, sample rate of with data on every frame. I'm not entirely sure why it does this. Um, maybe it's a bug or maybe it's just some feature that I've not quite understood. But we basically do need to uh, select this so it imports uh, with the frame, with the correct frame rate setting that is in the file, which for these files I've actually set as 30 frames a second. Um, our main FBX files are 60 frames a second, but as this is a game engine, um, it doesn't. I figured it doesn't really need to be more than 60 frames a second, as the engine's going to compress the animation down anyway. Um, so once we've done this, we can just click import. And it will take a little bit of time as it does that, it's very quick as it turns out. I can drag this in and we can see that the animation has actually appeared with the Unreal Mannequin on it. So if I just do a quick play of this, we can see him moving around here. So of course that animation now could actually be applied to the character itself um, but we're just visualizing it at the moment as a 3D model. Um, as I say it does have root motion on it uh, whether you want to use that or not is entirely up to you and the uh, specific scenario I guess of, of what you're planning to do. Um, and that's it for this tutorial.